happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the updated Prunus J15. This is an AM FM shortwave radio with now the NOAA weather band. Awesome feature to have. Most radios should include that. This radio comes retailed around $32.99. It just came out, so expect that price to be somewhat solid. It fits right in the price categories of the Sony ICF-19 and the Panasonic 2400D, but this also adds, of course, shortwave and weather band. It's an excellent choice. So we'll get down to it. Here's the box. Here's the different things. You got key features there. You can read those. Cool. Hexen Auxiliary Jack. I like that line in. Nice. Okay. Illustration of the radio. Side of the box has some kind of information there. We got some frequency, their contact information. Boy, can you pronounce where that was made? <laughs> I'm not going to try. But let's go to this side. <laughs> we got some spec bullet points here. It runs on 3D cells. Nice. There's the weight 584 grams, excluding batteries. Okay, it's not that heavy. Okay, got some flashlight there. All right, so that's the box. I took everything out of it to make it easy. I'm going to toss that to the side. First thing we get in the box is, boom, an AC cord. Beautiful. Now, this radio runs fantastic on AC. Uh, I noticed no problem with FM, the weather band, or the medium wave band with any kind of RFI. I might have noticed some little bit of buzzing on shortwave, but that's all I could really notice when I plugged in the AC cord and unplugged it and ran it off batteries. So overall, very impressed with the AC operation of this radio. Take, you know, if you're just going to run this radio all the time as a desktop, it's perfect. Um, and it's AC, no batteries required. Excellent. Uh, next, we have the manual. Yep. Prunus, the perfect partner of your life. Yeah. Okay. So get a little table of contents. Again, I'm just going to just posterity because you really don't need a manual to operate this. It's very basic. Um, there's the little bullet points on the different features of the radio. And then up here is the product specs. So I'll just bring this up close and personal. A lot of people like to see this. Uh, sensitivity, noise limit, you know, like noise floor. Uh, to be honest with you, it's it's decent. For a DSP radio, I'm pretty impressed with how it handles the, the bands. And hopefully we'll get to get a chance to go over them. Of course, two ways to power AC, like I mentioned, and it runs on three D cells. When you plug in the AC, it disables the D cell, so you can run the batteries in the compartment while it's plugged in. But if you're going to be having it plugged in for long periods of time, take the batteries out. Be smart. And of course, turning it on and off. And I think that is about it. Should be pretty basic. Okay, here we go. How to get receptions? Or how to get my station? Yeah, I can read. <laughs> how to get better reception? There you go. Get away from electronic devices. Yes, we all know that. Most of us do, but if you're just getting into radio, stay away from Wi-Fi and cell phones. They produce lots of noise. There you go. Headphones, we'll talk about that. Auxiliary in, we'll use that today. And after sales service. Beautiful. U.S., Canada, and U.K. All right. Great. So let's get to the radio. Front and center. So this is pretty much identical to the J15 I reviewed a while back. Um, the big difference you're going to see right away is the band coverage. Uh, it's the same FM, AM, and uh, but the shortwave, as you notice, is truncated more to the daytime, 7 megahertz to 19 megahertz. Um, the older radio had two shortwave bands. The first one, or split into two. First one started at 3.2, and I think it ended at 22. So you lose a little bit of the low range. Some people get upset by that. I mentioned it. But, uh, yeah, you do lose that. But overall, I found quite a bit uh, during the day here. I do like listening to shortwave during the day. That's me personally. So let's give dimensions of this radio. Uh, let's see. So let me bring this up a little bit so you get the full radio here. Okay. So for length, it's identical, again, to the original J15, nine and a quarter inches across. That includes the tuning knob and a little extra inside nub there for that fine tuning. It's pretty funny. It makes you fine tune because it's just 
a smaller little peg to hold on to. It's hilarious. I'll show it to you in a second. Um, height with the handle is six and a quarter inches. And we have a depth of the radio at one and seven eighths of an inch. So cabinet depth. Do a quick size comparison here. Uh, let's see what do I got handy. I always have radios handy. My famous CC pocket in the house. I'm um, doing this review early in the morning, 10, 10 a.m. Yeah, so I was upstairs and found quite a few shortwave stations. I figured it's a daytime band on shortwave. I do shortwave scan on this video, so I thought I'd shoot it in the morning. So, yeah, it's 10, 11 right now, central daylight time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. That helps you out. We also have CC Skywave in the house, digital radio with all these different bands. For size comparison, it's more of a pocket compact radio. Okay, no AC, you know, just a DC input or USB input. So there's that. And of course, last but not least, we have the famous deck of cards here. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves Prunus radios from, can you guess it? China land. He's the mastermind. Masterman. Okay. Oh, so, whoa. Okay, I got blurry for a second. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I do have my fun. Uh, that's my channel. Fun with the radios and fun with Iron Man cars. <laughs> so let's go over features of the Prunus J15 or the updated J15. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep both radios. I'm guessing they're dropping the original J15 because right now the J15, the original, is on sale. So if you don't want the weather band and you want more shortwave coverage, check out the links below. I'll have links to this radio. And then below that link, I'll have a link to the original one that has the extra shortwave coverage. And at the time of this video... They were selling that shortwave one at a uh, 30% discount. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, that brings it down to almost 20 bucks. So that's a cool price point for a radio like this. Uh, so let's go over features. Left hand side, we got a three LED flashlight, which uh, isn't super bright, but it's good enough in the dark, you know, to find your way around. I know it's it works with the AC, which is nice, and batteries. So either or. Um, so yeah, if you need to see something real quick, you got your Emergency lighting, I do think that's nice when you have a weather radio, it has a light built into it. So on the front of the radio, we have a nice clear sounding three inch speaker or 77 millimeters. Nice, I do like the sound of the speaker. Uh, it's more towards the mid range and higher tones. That's me personally, I love that. Uh, classical music, talk radio, sounds fantastic on here. We have a tuning LED indicator, works really well, real responsive, very happy with that. Lights up green when it's in tune. We have a on a volume control up here, show you. There you are. Our dial, as you can see, FM 87 to 108. Then below that's AM 520 to 1710. Then we have our shortwave coverage, 7 megahertz to 19 megahertz, as I mentioned before. Um, you know, daytime coverages, sometimes, this is kind of a fingerprint magnet. Uh, sometimes, you know, people get a little upset because it doesn't go below 7 at night because they're nighttime shortwave listeners, well, you might have to get a different radio for that if that's your thing. Um, weather band, I love it for the weather band. Uh, you got channels one through seven, nice. Prunus, J15, nice big bold lettering. Our switch for that light, as you saw. Locks pretty solid, simple. Here's our band select switch. So we have weather band, we have shortwave, AM, and it sort of points where it's at. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can just go by feel. All the way over FM, all the way over weather band. Pretty simple. Uh, so we'll leave it on FM. Go over to the right hand side of the radio. Uh, we have that tuning wheel, which is interesting. Uh, if you tune it from the outside edge, it goes fast. If you tune it from that little nub, it goes slower. Of course, it's making you grab the center uh, pin. So it makes you makes you tune it slower. Uh, there is no separate tuning knob, like say on the old Eaton emergency radios, like the Eaton, what is it, the uh, FR200 where it has dual tuning, uh, it's not like that, but uh, it still works. Uh, so we have two jacks here, auxiliary in, which I'm gonna use today, and then we have the headphone jack. Now I always like to talk about the headphone experience. FM, expect heavy lows, definitely heavy lows. So if you love your bass, you're gonna get tons of bass on FM. It has decent mids and decent highs. I was pretty impressed by that. Again, similar to the J15. On AM, it has a low tone, which is good for talk radio, uh, not for much of anything else. Shortwave, also low tone, but I noticed it was great for shortwave listening. Uh, that was nice. It takes the harshness uh, out of shortwave. Shortwave sometimes gets kind of harsh, uh, as you know. And then on weather band, the low tone's great for weather broadcasts on the headphones. So if you're using headphones, overall decent experience. Like it. Uh, Auxiliary in, okay, it plays well. 
course, just coming out the speaker here, rock and roll. So, okay, go to the top of the radio. You saw the on-off volume control, built-in handle, which is nice, nice solid grip. Um, one thing good is that the build quality of this radio is nice. So when you're buying this, you're getting something that's going to last. Uh, back here, we have an antenna. This antenna extends out to a whopping 32 inches. Uh, that's great for reception. I found awesome amount of stations with it. I'm um, pretty happy with that. Uh, it's just, it's one direction up and down. Uh, there, I don't know if it pivots. Let's see if it pivots. I can't remember if it did. No, it does not pivot to the back. So you only get up and down action, but that's all you really need. Uh, FM is usually pointed or, uh, horizontal and shortwave, you're pointing it vertical. On the back of the radio, we got some frequency information there. We have a vented case. I think it's where the transformer is at. There's where you plug in your AC cord. And then behind the compartment here is 3D cell batteries. As I say, I'm using Amazon Basic Alkalines. They work great. I'd expect at least 200 to 250 hour runtime. Yeah, with moderate volume level. Um, definitely nice having that kind of capacity, especially, especially with a weather radio. Um, that's great. So I'm glad to see I'm still making this type of radio with D cell capacity and the weather band. So yeah, we'll get to turning this on in a moment here. Hang in there with me. So yeah, let's. Uh, we've gone over the features. Pretty basic. Uh, so talk about FM reception. So this is identical to J15. It scored a good three star rating. I, I score on like five stars. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, the older school analog. Um, you know, your old school AM, FM radios, they score about okay to good, which is about 48 stations found for sensitivity and selectivity. And these newer DSP radios, which means digital signal processor, uh, they handle it a little differently, the frequency. So they are a little bit more sensitive, I've noticed. And I found 60 stations with this radio, which is identical to the original J15. And the selectivity was okay to good. It could have been a little bit better because I noticed a lot of lead in and lead out on strong stations. So that could obliterate adjacent stations. So you tend to lose out on those stations next to the stronger ones. So you, you lose a little bit there. So overall, this is about two and three quarter star rating. So not a bad, a little bit above average FM receiver. I like it. It sounds fantastic with music. So I like it. We'll try to do an FM band scan if I get time. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do a demo. So I have an MP3 player off of the side. I'm going to plug it in the auxiliary in. And what it has is YouTube royalty-free music. And that way we can uh, do a speaker test. Now compare this radio to my other videos, and you'll hear a difference between the radios. So you'll get an idea. So let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. Radio Totterbird. Or Radio YouTube. <laughs> it's their, their music library. We'll spend about a minute or two. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.
does well with auxiliary and devices. Gotta like that. Okay, so that's a nice little demo. Uh, some relative free music. So I could hover on some of the tunes so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. In person, decent, strong mids on that speaker. I love it. So we're going to go um, right to the weather band because that's what this new radio is about. All about weather. So I'm going to extend the radio antenna a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy because I'll hit everything on my table with this 32 inches. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit. And then we're going to use a wire for shortwave in the FM band. So let's go ahead. I will pick up about uh, three stations downstairs here. Um, I did pick up uh, four while I was upstairs. So let's go ahead, go to the weather band, turn it back on. Sunny. It's Channel one. Two to four feet subsiding to one to three feet late in the afternoon. Tonight, east wind five to 10 knots veering southeast after midnight, then rising to 10 to 50 knots early in the morning. Partly cloudy through around midnight. Weather Champion. observations across Wisconsin and nearby states. At Racine, it was rain. Waves six to nine feet occasionally. 12 feet. Wednesday, southeast winds to 30 knots becoming south. Rain. Waves six to nine feet occasionally to 12 feet. The low should move northeast through the western Great Lakes region Wednesday into Thursday while deepening to around 29.0. So there you go. I picked up four stations downstairs here with the antenna hardly extended. I'm I'm probably about, uh, I don't know, a third of the way out. Yeah, about 12 inches. So yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, yeah, it does really good on the weather band. I love having the weather band reception all the time like that. You have it plugged in. You see a storm brewing, just turn the radio on and go. Uh, or locate your D-cells, load up the radio, uh, make sure you're weather ready. Because, yeah, if you're an extended power out uh, scenario, you're going to have the ability to listen to that weather uh, continuously being broadcast so you know what's going on around you. If the cell phone disconnects and the power's out and you can't get any other type of information, you have it here on your radio. So it's still viable to have a radio uh, in today's age. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hook up a little wire to this uh, whip antenna just to get a little range for uh, FM and shortwave band scan. So it's a PL380 wire, it came from a Texan radio, and it's a 12 foot wire, and it's strung out to my window. It's not outside, it's just up in the window, uh, outside wall, just to get a little extra reception. So we'll go ahead and just plug that on there, and we'll go ahead and see what this can pick up FM like this. I don't know how well it'll do it. But uh, they tend to be more forgiving with the FM, so let's see what it sounds like. All right, so we'll go down to the bottom of the band using my coarse wheel because if I use a little wheel, it'll take forever. <laughs> it does make you tune it slower, which is nice. I do like having that option, especially in shortwave. So we're going to go to the FM band. I'm going to go fairly quick on that because we can't hover on music. Switch over to FM. Turn it on again. Here at the bottom. You can kind of hear how the DSP tunes. It kind of does it little increments. You'll hear it click and stop. On uh, regular analog radios, there's smooth transitions in between. Uh, DSPs, they tend to lock on. But the nice thing about DSPs is once you lock on that station, it'll stay locked on for like days and weeks and never drift, which is fantastic. This is for AT &T Internet. And he's in the midst of it. As are you, they're by his side, mothering us to fullness of life in him. And parents' prices to make the best decision on what to, where to purchase money and i think that we need to look at it in that same sense when we're we're online engaging with information we get different sources men don't trust your instincts there's a better path to become a man of god i'm chase replogle author of the five masculine instincts i'll take you to five men in the bible who aren't masculine role models or heroes but they wrestled with their own desires and by faith matured them into understanding that there is an aim, there is a desire for us as people to invest in. And even though we can't actually look at things under a microscope. And is that part of the challenge of diagnosing brain illnesses? The fact that you 
have to rely on information that's another thing I've seen uh, trend with new radios I want to mention with auxiliary in or the radio itself if there's an FM stereo broadcast or using stereo input and you're on the mono speaker here uh, since this doesn't have any FM stereo capability or any stereo output I forgot to mention that the headphones do not have stereo and no low no low low hiss either so there's no hissing on there which is nice um, it doesn't cut any channels out so it, it kind of combines left and right channels properly I just want to let you know it does not cut out the right channel, which is a symptom on some radios. So this radio does to not. Try to figure out can we use tools that don't hurt people uh, to get the information without actually taking. Basic procedures nationwide. That's a lot of happy patients, thanks to the expert med. So go in. In the area's largest. Loaded A1 stack burger with two pre. All along. Diarrhea. It's hilarious. I've been having dreams. With a love like that, you know, down the years. Just so baby, the baby, it's all your butt to light up. I'm missing out, I know. This is a phrase to learn. So if you talk about it, they make no... For the Liberty Mutual Insurance Company. No, I should change, but man, I swear I'm... Brandon Eisen, jury selection begins in a federal trial for a man accused of killing a McHenry County Sheriff. It's like a black blue, try all with the kids. Okay, so there's our FM band skin, pretty quick and easy. Lots of stations there, sounding beautiful on this speaker in person. Uh, yeah, you can't beat this radio for that. Love it. I mean, yeah, for 30 bucks, 32 bucks, it, it's actually a pretty good bargain. I'm already talking about it, but yeah, um, like to check out the links below. This is just a fun radio. Um, does really well now daytime am uh great on locals we'll just do a quick band scan on it i'm not gonna spend a ton of time since i'm running out so let's go quickly on the am band download redesign AccuWeather app today i'm cheryl golden on eight five sixty White Soxiest prospect at the moment. Yeah, it's not a buzz like her adult. 100% right? who's okay. out of option, right. by the way. <laughs> like, how did Ruth even acknowledge that the other day? Of course, I'd be turning the radio to tune it. His internal antenna for AM. Fallen in recent days, but border guards, aid agencies, and refugees. Session today Pretty the strong. They get towards the top of the band. It gets a little weaker. Following a three-week teacher strike. I decided Camp Kuburani was the right camp for my child because Sounds of the good. inclusive and diverse. Now from when it breaks. Same dot com. I'm Lauren Cohen, 890 WLSC. Also, small talk. Okay, you get the idea. So that's the uh, AM band in a nutshell. Pretty good. Uh, great on locals. 
good on semi-locals, and then uh, difficult on distant stations during the day. I noticed evening does a fantastic job. You'll pick up all kinds of stations. Selectivity might be an issue if you're close to stronger stations. I found that going back and forth quite a bit, you'll be able to tease out that in-between station. Um, so just have patience with it. Typical DSP uh, tuning. So we're going to go to shortwave. Here we could pick up during the day. And then we'll do some final thoughts. Shortwave, I found about 16 stations, which is great. Similar to the original J15 during the day. Now also, dial accuracy is fairly good, though I did get a couple images on stronger shortwave broadcasts. Single sideband transmission. fairly quick here. Finding things stations. And like I mentioned, dial accuracy is fairly accurate. I noticed an FM was good, medium wave was good, short wave was a little little off. Of course, other bands pretty dead on because larger windows or larger areas. WWV. Colorado. About 870 miles from me. We're almost done. Some music. Picking some uh, international stations today in Europe this morning. I think I had something around 17 megahertz as well. A lot of back and forth tuning, but short wave's not as bad. If it was crowded with stations, it would be a little bit more difficult, but it's not. So let's go ahead and turn it off. There it is. Yeah, they updated J15. Um, pretty impressed with it. Uh, I'm happy that they uh, included weather band. Um, I wish uh, they would have made this uh, with the lower short wave band included still. That would be fantastic. That would have been like everything I'd want in a radio. You know, that lower shortwave band plus. But still, as it sits, it's still worth the $32. Even better if it goes on sale. Um, 
you always put it in your watch list. If they ever drop a coupon around the holidays or you know, if they decide to do a 10% off or 20% off, that uh, would be pretty good. If this they brought the radio down to 28, you know, it depends on the the way the market is. You know, if the inflation comes down, these radios will come down. Hopefully, uh, we'll see that. But uh, right now, not a bad radio. I definitely would recommend it. Um, pretty happy, impressed. Love the audio, love the auxiliary in. I like the dial accuracy. I like having weatherman, like I mentioned. Uh, flashlight, you know, hey. It works. <laughs> Loving it. And of course, don't forget the AC adapter. You know, you get the AC cord. You don't even need batteries right away. Just plug it in and go. And now you listen to the radio. And it's, you know, it's got a thin profile. Um, it's not wide like most radios. Like the Sony's net are super thick. This thing's not bad at all. Not even two inches. And it still has decent audio coming from that speaker. So, yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Definitely for a DSP radio. Um, it definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Um, being that some DSP radios aren't very good. Uh, this one definitely is better than most. So expect some great reception in the evening as well. Um, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you enjoy Prunus radios, want to see more, subscribe at the bell icon, get notified uh, of these videos, reviews, band scans, different things I'll do, compare. And three, comment below what you think about the new updated J15. Uh, is this something you'd be thinking about buying? Um, popular radio. I did a video, the first one, got about 50,000 views. A lot of people are excited about it. Uh, so let me know what you think about this version. Okay, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.